Hey all, Heretic here with another Hearthstone Battleground Player's Guide, and I'm here to bring you the information you need to help you win with Galewing. So get comfy and let's dive in. First, let's talk about their hero power, Dungar's Griffin. This costs zero gold and reads, choose a flight path, complete it to get a bonus. So the first flight path is Westfall. In one turn, give your leftmost minion plus two attack. Iron Forge. In three turns, discover a minion of your tavern tier. In Eastern Plague Lands, in five turns, your next tavern tier upgrade costs five less. So this gives you some great options and versatility in that if you want plus attack, you can go for that. If you want to go for economy and free minions, fantastic. And if, hey, if you want your tavern tier to be cheaper, good way to go with that too. It really gives you some really great options. And since it's free, really can't compete. Price is just perfect. Now, Gale Wing's buddy is called Flight Trainer, and they are a tier 2, 5 4 neutral minion that reads, At the end of your turn, progress your flight path by one turn. So, this means your hero power, which is giving you, you know, attack, free minions, uh, cheaper tearing up, they're all going to come a little faster, you know, one every turn. Now, while this isn't really outstanding, it really does shine when it becomes gold, because now it makes you get them two turns faster. Well, this means, especially if you're picking the middle option, which is going to give you a free minion every three turns, you're now going to get a free minion every turn from your tavern tier. So if you happen to get to tier six relatively quick, all of a sudden you're getting a tier six discover every single turn. That's pretty amazing. Now myself, when I'm playing Galewing, typically I will either warrior curve or Jeef curve, depending on the lobby who's in it and how things are looking. Uh, they're the most consistent too. There's a lot of other ways you could do it, but I find those to be the best. When you're looking for the minions that work, there's nothing you really have to play. Galewing can work with anything, which is nice to have that option and not be put into a path. You can play whatever's given to you that looks the best. So typically what I like to do is try to get my buddy as quickly as possible. I will go as hardcore as I can tempo to into that turn four, turn five combat to have my buddy online. And to do that, what I usually want to do for my hero power is Iron Forge, Eastern Plague Lands, then Iron Forge. And basically, you're just going to be Iron Forging for the rest of the game at that point. Because if you do it right on tier four at eight gold, that's your sweet spot. If you get there, then when that Eastern Plague Land kicks, instead of your tiering to tier five at 11 gold, now you're only doing it for six because it's five less. Phenomenal value. Then if I haven't taken too much damage, and you usually will take a little bit of damage in this play style, I will then just go right to tier six. Just next turn, hit six, because if it works out perfectly, you're gonna triple your buddy, you're gonna get that free minion every turn. It's just great value. And then for the rest of the game, you know, if things work out right, another four or five turns, you're getting free tier six minions every time. It's pretty awesome. It's a more of aggressive way to play it. You certainly could just do free minions forever and play it like a normal hero. There's certainly a value way to play it like that. I just enjoy the more aggressive build, but that depends also in you know what other heroes are in the lobby and what things look like for you. Now, when it comes to countering Gillowing, it's just a normal game of BGs. You don't have to do anything special. Uh, just be aware that if you do see the Gale Wing aggressively going into tier six, you want to do all the damage you can to him also because it, once he gets there, if he has even remote decent luck at his discoverings, you're going to start running into some very nasty combinations and probably boards full of Amalgadons running at you very quickly. Overall, Galewing is a very interesting hero and can be difficult to play until you get some practice with him. I mean, it's a high risk, high reward, or just a straight economy build where every three turns you're getting a free minion until you get the gold buddy, then it's a free minion every turn. Both play styles work. It's whatever you're comfortable with and what the lobby looks like it'd be good for. It's very swingy if you're doing the aggressive build. You're going to get to very low health. But if it works out, it is a lot of fun because now you've got the board full of tier 6 disgustingness and you're having a good time. It takes a few tries to get the hang of it, but it's worth it. At the same time, if you want to play it safe, a free minion every turn works pretty well too. So it's whatever style you prefer best. Uh, in the end, I've attached a link with some gameplay if you're looking to see how I piloted them. Stay tuned. I have more guides on the way. I hope you learned a few things today and had a good time. I know I did. Bye.